I'm on my way to the post office to go pick up my whatever I have to go pick up. Um, I'm, a le I'm leaving a little bit later, or I left a little bit later than I was supposed to do, but it's fine. It's still early in the morning, 9.30. It's 9.30 right now. So it's not like I left late. I just didn't leave as early as I wanted to. But it's a really nice day outside and I'm kind of, it's really interesting because I'm seeing a completely different side of the city. Um, I'm exploring, I mean, not technically exploring because I have to go do something for the purpose. But I'm seeing more of Nakano, which is the area that I live. Like this area, it seems like there's a lot, of, like this house is so nice. I can't really see the house anymore. But it seems like a lot of like pretty well off people live here. It's kind of like the suburbs of Tokyo, which I quite enjoy because my home in Canada is like the suburbs or is in the suburbs. So anyways, I'm gonna go check my map and make sure I'm pulling in the right. Wow! Yeah, I'm gonna go check my map and make sure I'm going in the right direction. Bye! I made it to the post office. I just don't know how to get into this building, TBH. Is this the front door? Maybe. So I picked up my mail. That went a lot smoother than I had thought it would be. Um, now I know where the post office is. Now I know what to do when I need to pick up my mail. And uh, there was not that many people there. So that was really, really good. Um, and then this package is... It doesn't feel like I have a card in here, so we'll see. But I got it. My first mail from Japan. That's so exciting. So just saying, I'm totally lost. Not lost. Um, the bus I was waiting for didn't come. Is this the bus stop? No. This is just right inside and then now i'm looking so i went to go find another bus stop and i don't know where that is <laughs> so i don't know if i'm going in the right direction or not but i mean in hindsight i could just walk home I'm gonna make karage. My oil is not heating up. Why? They're not that round. Hi! Mmm! <laughs> mmm! Mmm! It's good! Mmm! I just cracked this egg. I don't know, is it just me or is this yolk huge? Like this is a huge yolk. Dang. Also, I don't have anything besides this garlic salt. So that's what I'm gonna use to season my eggs and everything else. Dinner.
also a really nice area. Wow. There's my building. I have no idea what this is, but I like it a lot. Whatever this was, it was so good. I kind of wish I got another one. And it was only like 98 yen, which is so cheap. But I mean, it's half of one. So two together would be like almost 200 yen, but still, it was so good. So just saying, this melon pen isn't as good as the one back home. Back home isn't as good as the one in like at my station or the or the Tokyo melon pad one it's okay but it's not as good you know what I really love that the little cherry blossoms everywhere I didn't realize that this would be a thing but they're literally everywhere So it's my first day of work. I have a mask on, just in case. I am placed today in Seiseki Sakura, Sakura Gaoka. And I came like almost an hour early. And I was literally just walking around outside because it's really nice today and really nice outside. But I'm still early. So I'm on my way home. I just want to give you an update on the situation here in Japan. Um, well, first things first, just because I don't know if I'm going to have time to do this later. Me and my friends are going to hang out back at the house. But had my first day today. It wasn't too bad. I had only kids classes and the school that I went to is closing down. So we didn't really, I don't know if it was... I don't know if there was a mistake or something, but we didn't really do much. The two older kids' classes, they were mostly review, like it was an extra lesson. It wasn't a regular lesson in their lesson plan. So again, I don't know if that was a mistake, but literally all the, all the cards that we did, or all the, the vocabulary that we did, they already knew. So I wasn't teaching them anything new, and it was just pretty much just review. It was very easy for them. So, so the two B classes, or the two like old, uh, slightly older students were okay. They were a lot more responsive. My younger students, they were really, uh, how should I say this? They were very um, shy, quiet, probably because I was a new face. So it's kind of interesting to see. Anyways, that's to the meat of the matter. So I'm not gonna be working this weekend. Typically we're always supposed to be working on Saturday and then I should be working on Sunday, but the governor, I said this before, the governor has requested for the country's cooperation or Tokyo's cooperation, I should say, in staying home, closing non-essential services, and yeah, just not going to work if possible on the weekend unless it's essential. The number of new cases today, I believe was only 49 or something like that, or as yesterday, like the number of cases keeps rising ever so slightly. And uh, the number of new cases daily aren't like as much as it is in North America, but it's still rising. And, and the governor is worried that either I don't know, there's like kind of mixed reviews right now, or mixed opinions, I should say. Um, they're urging people to stay at home and practice social distancing because again, they don't want the cases to rise even more. The governor is threatening a lockdown if people don't cooperate. But the thing is, the country, the president is also worried about the economy of this country, which I understand, I understand both sides, but it's just, the whole world's economy is going down. So 
so it's not like Japan is the only one. So I don't know. Either way, my company is complying. They canceled or they shut down all schools this weekend. So everyone is advised to stay home. So me, my house is pretty much full of ECC teachers. And now we all have a, an unprecedented weekend that we were not aware that we would be having. So everyone's kind of gearing up bearing down I just went grocery shopping again not really grocery shopping just grabbed a few more things and yeah we're all battening down the hatches and we're gonna pretty much party all weekend I don't know if that counts as social distancing but I mean we're not going out not really our fault that we all live together so I don't really know but we'll see about that oh I'm finally home I feel like I've been out forever you can get more than one sauce. Yeah, you can get more than one sauce? I would yeah. assume so, no? Yeah. Man, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm kind of breaking out. Good morning. Well, it's not really morning anymore here. <laughs> um, stayed up late with some of my housemates i woke up really late i think it's about like noon here now so it's the weekend it's saturday march the 28th and i'm hoping everyone is trying to stay indoors i don't know i can't control anyone else but i'm not going anywhere i cooked or i um i did my groceries before the weekend so i have food for the weekend and however long this will last i don't know if it'll only be saturday and sunday or if this will go past that point again it's not it's a voluntary lockdown so we'll see if people comply um from what i could hear at my door a lot of people are still in the house kind of puttering about so i'm gonna go make my breakfast <laughs> i got oatmeal yesterday which is really cool i found oatmeal um by the in the grocery store that's by the school that i worked at well, it's pretty much lunch, but like I guess that's an afternoon snack. I'm thinking of making cream cheese wontons, and then for dinner, I'm probably gonna have salmon poke. Yeah, probably just check in at random points during the day, but see you in a bit. It needs more sugar. I usually add sugar into my oatmeal or fruit. I think I need some bananas. So it's now three o'clock. I mean, it's barely been any time, but I'm gonna start prepping for dinner. Prep my salmon, maybe cook my rice, but I want it to be warm for later, so maybe not. But I feel like I'm doing nothing today besides cooking. Like literally had, um, had oatmeal this morning, made cheese wontons, and now I'm prepping my dinner because I have nothing else to do. My friends are in the other room. They're playing Dragon Ball Z and I might come join them, but I want to get this done first so that they could just chill in my fridge. I'm gonna let this marinate for a couple hours and go play some games with the guys and then by dinner time, this should be ready. And then I would just need to cook my rice and I'll be good. Okay. So, 
it's about like more than halfway through the day it's like 5 p.m right now just a lot to think about i was hanging out with the others most of the time but i've also kind of needed a break from just being around people so i've been in my room a little bit just watching the news trying to keep up with everything to be honest spoke to a couple of the others like a few of the people in this house are leaving or have left it really makes you think about what you want to do or what your plan is like i already paid for the second month's rent so i'm probably gonna stay until at least april and then i don't know what's gonna happen after that because i don't i really don't know what's gonna kind of where the direction of this virus is gonna go like right now Canada's borders are still open for me like as a Canadian citizen unless I present symptoms so I mean as long as I don't get sick then I'll be fine but I don't know if that's gonna change after if there is kind of like a, a COVID-19 explosion in Japan I don't know if that'll yeah if that'll change if I'll be able to go home still so it's I'm kind of in this weird kind of stagnant place like I don't want to leave I kind of want to wait it out but if we all kind of if the city shuts down and we all can't go to work and they're not going to be paying us i don't know if that's going to happen i believe again i i don't want to say anything unless it's confirmed but if that does happen the kind of worst case scenario like what would i even do like i have money i have enough money to kind of sustain myself here for a little bit but i don't know how long it's going to last right for another month i don't know I mean, I should still get paid for the training and the reimbursement for the flight and everything. So if anything, that can pay for the second month. And from what it seems like, like Korea and China both, it's kind of been two months and things are starting to look up for them. So you never know if we go in lockdown now, I'd probably be able to last until May. So I, I don't know, we'll see. It's just kind of we're kind of in this gray area and I don't know what kind of the best course of action is because if I go home I'm just gonna be kind of stuck in the same situation as well I'll just be at home so like I guess in hindsight I would I'd be saving money but it's pretty much gonna be the same thing I'll just be stuck so I don't know kind of what's the better option kind of have to weigh all the pros and cons but right now we're just kind of stuck here and again this lockdown is technically or this voluntary lockdown whatever it is is technically only for the weekend but what's the weekend going to do in in the grand scheme of things the government is trying to come up with a plan this weekend for kind of a long haul but depending on what they announce like i don't know and like if i get a flight right now like looking at the flights right now it's more than a thousand dollars for a one-way flight so it's it's really expensive like I feel like I would be I don't know would I be saving money if I stayed here continue to pay rent or would I save money paying the fourteen thousand fourteen hundred dollar flight back to Canada and not paying rent but not doing anything either so I don't know I don't know kind of what the plan is like right now I'm I have a bunch of friends in the house I have friends around the city you know back home my friends are in the city as well but i have my family there so everything's just kind of a big mess i mean i don't regret coming here it's been a really good experience like even if i do have to go home i had a really good time here and it did feel kind of like a vacation just being away even though i had training to do and going to work and stuff like it just felt like a completely different world to work to what i'm used to so so i don't regret coming here it's just it's it was just a bad time to come right i guess i'll kind of i'll see i'll wait it out see kind of how this weekend goes what they announce after the weekend talk to my family i'm pretty sure my family's gonna tell me to come home we'll see kind of what happens again what happens after this weekend we'll see if anything gets announced tonight or tomorrow and what's gonna happen on monday when we all go back to work but for now i'm gonna sign out um it's still about five i want to wait a little bit i'm not super hungry to eat my dinner yet but maybe I'll go cook rice and then join the others in the in the in the common area. But I'll see you later. But the small ones, you know, the Japanese style ones, yeah. Kind of one. I'd be surprised if they give me any money for my stuff. But John's nice. getting a penny. How many ginger ales in today? Ooh, I had a lot.
I only had the bad one. Bad boy. I said kebab place, so they have a switch. Where do I put it? Place six for fall. Yeah, yeah. Go for the six for fall. Six for fall. Six for Don't tell me do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been ages, yeah? Yeah, it's been ages. Yeah, yeah. 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 Please draw it. Because oh. whatever you interpret it as, just draw it. Draw it. Draw it. Draw it. Draw it. You could essentially just draw anything. Whoa. That looks like coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a guy that's nice. And we got to say, it's not bad to it. Hi, um, so it is Sunday, March the 29th, I believe. Yeah, it's Sunday, March the 29th today. Um, just kind of want to check in. I haven't been really been, been videotaping all day and there is a reason for that. And that is because I've literally done nothing all day. Like I also didn't want to see any of my friends because yesterday was too much of socializing. So today I was being so introverted, just watching movies on my iPad. Back to kind of our situation. So again, I stayed home all day, didn't do anything because of the voluntary lockdown. As far as I know, so the last couple days, the coronavirus cases, or before the weekend, I should say, the coronavirus cases were, like the new cases being reported were about 40-ish a day or less than that. This weekend, like on Saturday, the number rose to 60 just in Tokyo um, of new coronavirus cases and then 60 in Chiba which is like the neighboring like prefecture so which is a pretty big rise considering considering what it what it was before and considering people were supposed to stay indoors this weekend so they don't really know what's gonna happen because the voluntary lockdown was to see if we could contain the virus or see if people were, I guess, compliant. It was kind of like a test, or I believe it was kind of like a test, but the coronavirus cases still rose. People still left. I was watching Instagram posts and a lot of people were leaving their house. Like even my roommates, like my housemates had gone out at some point, mostly to like get groceries or to like buy drinks or things like that. Not really to like go to a bar like we all stayed at home and, and partied here but they all still went out at some point and i was looking at one of my friends's instagram feeds and she was she had to go to work but she was posting people just like hanging out in the park because saturday was a really really nice day so i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know if we're gonna continue lockdown from what i read the government's right now suggesting to continue the lockdown for another two weeks which will obviously be prob problematic, but I don't know for sure what that's going to mean for all of us or if the city is even going to comply, right? So I'm supposed to be working tomorrow. I don't know if I will be. I guess I'll see when I wake up, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, for now, that's it. That's the only update I have. Again, I didn't really videotape anything because I didn't really do anything. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow and let you know what's going on. Night.